Hi, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can import journal entries from text, Excel, or IIF files into QuickBooks Online using a data utility called Z-Axis. So you may be wondering, why would you need to do that? For example, you may have be running your payroll in a separate system like ADP, and you need to get the month-end journals for the employees' earnings and deductions and taxes into QuickBooks Online, or you could be running a point of sale system which runs separately from QuickBooks Line and you want to transfer the information um, from the till or from the receipts from that into QuickBooks Online. So those are two examples of how you might get data in a journal format and want to get that into QuickBooks easily without having to key it in. Let's have a quick look at what a journal entry looks like in QuickBooks Online. So if you're not familiar with it, you'll see um, a journal with a reference number, and then you have a series of rows. So these are the accounts that the journal's been posted to. There'll be one side which is the debits and one side which is the credits. Now that structure is quite important when importing. We'll just consider that structure in a minute when we look at the sample file that we're gonna bring in. So let's open that up now and take a look at it. So I've opened Excel and I'm gonna to go to the journal entry file that I have created, which contains the journals that I'm gonna upload into QuickBooks Online. Now this is a text file. We also support Excel files and IIF files. So in the example I have here, the data is contained within a text file. If I open in Excel, you can now see um, that, how that's laid out. So we've got three journals. We've got 1001, 1002, 1002, and 1002. A column for the debits and a column for the credits, and also the account. All the other fields we've added in for examples, but you don't necessarily need that information. So now let's go low, have a look at how we can take this data and import it directly into QuickBooks Online. So I've opened Z-Axis on my desktop, and now I'm going to connect to my QuickBooks Online company file. I'm going to select the file that I would connect to and click Connect. I'll finally save the tokens and a connection will be established with my QuickBooks Online company file. Once I know that, I've got it written down here, got the name of the company file that we're importing to. Next, I'm going to click on the Import tab. So once I've browsed to the file that I want to import, the one I showed you in the demonstration previously, you'll see it open in this grid here. Next, we're going to add a new mapping, import type as journal. And now we just need to map these fields. The fields marked in yellow are the mandatory fields. So we always need a document number because that's important. It's how Axis knows how to group the rows together on the same journal. We put the GL account that the posting is to, the debit amount, and then the credit amount column. We'll also add in a description, and then we'll give the mapping a name. so that we can save it to reuse it on the next time we come to import this file. And click Save. Now you'll see only the fields that we've mapped and the columns of the data that we're gonna bring into QuickBooks Online. So we click on Import, and Access will validate the data to make sure it's in the correct format. It will then go through and make sure that the accounts exist within your QuickBooks Online company file, and then it will go ahead and import those into QuickBooks. So if you do have an error during the import, it will display that on the screen here, and you can go back in, correct the error within the grid, and reattempt the import. So here, three of the rows, three of the journals have imported, and let's just have a quick look. So we just click on View, and it'll take us directly to that journal within QuickBooks Online to make sure that it's imported as we want it to. So there's the journal that we've just imported using Z-Axis. So very simply, that's how you can import journals from text, Excel, or IIF files directly into QuickBooks Online using the Z-Axis desktop import utility.